So if, it, if everybody's got a username and password, um, when they log in, they're going to be able to see, they're going to be able to click this button over here and have access to uh, everything that we give you access to. One of the things that we give you access to is tickets. So you can always click tickets and submit a request. And if you submit a request, you know, you just put in the subject details, you know, say whatever it is and, and hit submit. And then it'll go in here under your tickets and be, you know, what's unresolved or what's solved. And you can see, you know, answers to that. Plus you'll get an email notification that says, hey, we responded to your help ticket or whatever the case may be. You can also always email support at avidmobile.com or you can call the support phone number on the, on the website, avidmobile.com, and there that is. So once you guys log in, there's really three main steps here in creating a campaign, generally speaking. Okay, so what does a campaign look like? Well, a campaign generally looks like that we've got a truck at an event and that we need people to be able to, um, we need to be able to gather their information. That's what it's about. And so a campaign is generally where somebody either texts from their phone a word to a short code or that they type their mobile number in a tablet and then get sent an instant text message uh, with information or a coupon for later. And so I'm going to talk about how to how we kind of start with that campaign, how we can send out messages and things like that. So I'm going to break it down as, into some steps. So step one here that we're going to look at, if I'm doing this in order, step one is our mobile website. Step two is creating a keyword or mobile coupon. Step three is creating a kiosk. And then we'll talk about collateral creation or other types of campaigns and other databases. Okay, so let's start with the mobile website. So when we log in, this is not as complicated as it sounds because a lot of this is already done for you. But when we log in, we're going to hit our little menu icon at the top and we're going to go down to tools and we're going to click mobile websites. When we log in, we're going to have a mobile website already there. This is your mobile website. When you log in and you click this button, if you hover across it, it says edit. That one will give you the URL for it, the one that looks like a little link button. Uh, that one would clone it. You don't want to do that. And that one would delete it. You don't want to do that. But if you hit edit, it pulls up your mobile website. Okay? From here, there's already a bunch of different pages created. You guys can uh, click on any of these different pages that you want to edit. And it's easy. Just start on, let's start with contact page. So when I click on it, <clears throat> it already has a fake phone number, a fake email address, and a contact form. You can put in your business hours, your address of where you're going to be, your phone numbers, a text number if you want to, an email address. And if you put an email address in right there, then it, this form, when somebody fills out this form on your contact page, it'll send the information to this email address. So you want to put in whatever email address you would actually check. And that's it. Once you're done with that, you hit save. Then that new information that you put on there will be live, and that page is done being edited. Let's say that I want to change information that's on my products. I want to change this to something completely different. I want it to say menu instead of products. And I want to add my menu of items in there. I just click edit on it. I change it, the title to menu. And I go, I don't want Italian ice on there. So I click delete on that one. And then I go to Artisan Gelato here, and I click Edit on that one. And now I want to add a picture above it. So then I just click the Image button, hit Upload, choose the file, find the image that I want for it. And let's say this is the image. We hit Send it to the server once we've selected it. Image uploaded OK. And then that's it. We typically will change the size of images to about 350 width, and it'll automatically resize the height. 350 width is always a good size. Um, and there's a picture. As soon as I hit save, that picture is, will be on that page. And then if anybody hits that, 
Did I not get it saved? No, I must have not got it saved. Let me try one more time real quick. You click the image that you want, you click upload, you click choose file, you select the picture you want, you hit set it to the server, you hit OK, change the size, and there it is. So I got it that time. I don't know. I must have missed something. So let's say you wanted to change some content. All you do is, you know, click on what you want to change, highlight it, type in whatever new info, and there it is. And if I hit save, it'll stay like that. I could take and I could highlight a section. I could center it if I wanted instead of left justifying it. I could make that bullet points if I wanted to. I could change the size of it if I wanted to to whatever. I can bold certain sections of it if I want to or underline a piece of it if I want to. So, I mean, it's pretty, change the font, styles, change the colors of it by clicking the color, the text color icon. So it's very easy to modify any of the content. You already have this content on here, so it's real easy for you guys just to add to it uh, or change any of the pieces that you want to. If I go back here and I want to change the, the stuff on the home page or add, add items to the list, I just click that. If I want to you know, change information on the home page, I just click on that and then I can change any of this information. If I want to move my locations page up to the top, I can just drag it. If I want to move my menu down, I just drag it to where I want. Um, there's tutorials on how to use the mobile website builder. If you guys click on here and go to tutorial videos, and go to tools and then there's tutorial videos on how to change different stuff about your mobile website. The main thing to keep in mind is once you've got this mobile website the way that you want it to and you it's done for the most part and the only time you would ever need to go in and mess with it again is if you wanted to add something. Like let's say for instance that you've got an event coming up and you're going to be at this one location and uh, you it's going to be a fair and you want to tell a lot of information about it. You might go in and actually create a page just for that event. And so you might click there to create a new page and you might just do a content block, a general purpose page. And this is for the town fair event, right? And so I put town fair, I hit general purpose page. Now it created me a brand new page. Now, I just put in whatever information I want to say about that event. I might drop in a picture of the event from last year. I might put in a video or whatever. So I, you know, find whatever picture that I want. Send it to the server. And there it is. Now I type some information in, you know, about the event. And some bullet points and I might link to the uh, contact page you know after that or I might put a map in it or something like that um, so there's all kinds of things I can do once I hit save that page already shows that information shows up that I just put in there and then I could actually take this page and I could send a text message to all of my people and say click this link and you can see where we're going to be at this weekend. And it would take them right to the, the town fair page that I just created. This is the page for it. So everybody can imagine a tech be receiving a text message and they click that link and it takes them right here and it's got all the information about the weekend event that you're running. Right? Hopefully you can envision that. So once we've created our mobile website exactly the way that we want it, now Let's, that's the first part. Now we can go in and we can figure out how are we going to actually deliver this to the users? How are we going to start building a database of users? Well, that comes, there's really two parts to building a database. The first part is, and so we covered mobile websites, so now we're going to go into creating a keyword or a mobile campaign, which this is where we actually build databases. 
Now there's two parts of building a database. Part one, which we'll call A, is for loyalty marketing. This is where we run some type of point of sale campaign where every single person that comes and buys Italian ice from us or buys coffee or whatever they buy from us, that we get, that that's our one chance, our one chance to take a current customer that's buying from us and say, hey, let me give you something free for next time. Or let me give you this coupon for next time. Or, um, you know, enter for a chance to win or whatever it is that you're going to say to them and, and capture some data from them. The most important piece of data that you can ever have from any individual is their mobile phone number. So we start with a really good mobile first strategy. So part of it is loyalty marketing and the other part is lead generation. How do we use this same technology to build potential leads that have never bought from us and get them to come in for the first time? And we'll talk a little bit about that at the end. So let's talk about loyalty marketing point of sale. When people are coming up to our truck today, tomorrow, how can we get them to opt in? And I said there's two ways. The first way, when they're walking up to the truck and they're standing there talking to us and they're buying their thing, we give them a little coupon or a little card. And that card says, hey, get a dollar off next visit. Uh, text for Peaches to 7277 or whatever word you want. It could say text Italian. It could say text ICE to 72727. When somebody texts in, they get an immediate text message back with a coupon and they've and that stays on their phone an average of 12 days, and they go in the database so we can text message them later. Or when they walk up to the counter, they're buying, we have them type their mobile number in a tablet, and they instantly get a text message back on their phone. We could man an extra person that's standing there in line. You know, if you guys are at a big event and you've got a line of 15 people, you could certainly have somebody going from person to person in the line with a tablet and saying, hey, get a free extra scoop of ice cream or free extra scoop of gelato when you get up there to the counter, just type your mobile number in. And literally every single person that's in line will type their mobile number in before they ever get up there and get the mobile coupon on their phone. And, you know, you're giving away a free scoop to capture that data. And then you know, you know, then we've got that database of people, right? So let's, let's look at how we would create either of those campaigns. You build them both exactly the same way. We're done with our mobile website. What I'm going to do is copy this link right here, and I'm going to save this for a minute. So I'm going to put this somewhere else. I'm going to drop it over into an email real fast just so I've got quick access to it. And I've got the link to my site. I just copied it right there. Now, next step, this is part two. I'm going to go into the marketing platform and create my campaign. So when I click marketing platform, it looks scarier than it is, but it's really easy. I'm going to go into campaigns and I'm either going to go to a keyword or a redeemable. Now a redeemable is a text message that you send to somebody that has a link in it that takes them to an actual mobile coupon. A keyword is just a, when somebody gets a text message back and it's just words. There's no links in it. Okay. They both do essentially the same thing. Let's start by creating just a keyword real quick and just to test how it works. So we'll go to campaigns, keyword, and then we hit create, because we're gonna create a new one. And now we just name it. So this could be Rapiches because I'm in North County this weekend, okay? This is very important to understand. These trucks go from location to location. And so I, very, I might possibly run three different types of campaigns because I'm primarily in three different areas. One campaign is for North County, one one campaign is for South County. One campaign is for Eastern, you know, Jackson. And I would create different campaigns for each of those. That way I create three different databases. One for North County, one for South County, one for Eastern Jack. Okay. So for Rapici's North County, I might create the keyword North. Seeing if it's, we'll see if it's available, which it is. So then I give them the response that I want them to get. Rapiches. Um, I might say, uh, so that somebody walks up, I might say, just in a, in a text message, dollar off your next visit to Rapiches. Um, show text to redeem uh, expires 
four thirty one. There's not thirty one days, so that's a trick. Expires four thirty fifteen. And then I'm gonna give my disclaimer here. So I'm gonna say watch for more, up to four per month, reply help for help, stop to end. And that just sh that's just the disclaimer that they need to know that there's gonna be future messages. And we'll give this to you in writing so that you can get that in your messages. We'll approve your messages so that they're okay. We'll help you create your first ones. Once these are created, you don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm just showing you how to do it. You might create a second text message that looks like this. While you are here, click here and post a selfie with your gelato. You will be entered to win free repeaties for a year. And then we take and drop the URL of your Facebook page right in there. And how would we do that? We go to Facebook. We go to your, you have to type it in correctly to be able to get the URL. And there's a URL to your Facebook page. And now I just can drop it right in there. I can go to short URL here and drop the long URL in. That'll give me the short one. And I can put it wherever I want in the text message itself. And there I've done that second text message. Now I can hit save and that campaign will be live. So automatically, someone right now from their phone can text the word north to the phone number 72727. And they will get back these two text messages that I just put in there, this one and that one. So if you want to try it right from your phone, you can hit new text message, type in the phone number to send a text message to 72727 and type in north and you'll get back that response. That is just like now I could hand everybody a piece of paper in Northtown right as they're buying their Italian ice from me. I could hand them a little card right with the receipt and tell them, this is very important, I have to tell these people, text north to 72727 right now, and you'll get a, a coupon back for next time you come in for a free gelato or a free dollar off or whatever it is. The important piece of this is not just that you hand them the card, but that you tell them, hey, make sure you text in and get a free gelato next time you come in. And, and it can be a, a free gelato with purchase of another gelato, right? But at least you got them to opt in. And it might expire in two weeks, so most of those people won't ever redeem it. But if they do redeem their free gelato and they bought a gelato, then you still made enough money on that one to make it worthwhile to uh, get them in the database because now we're going to drive lots of extra transactions for them. So if you did it, as soon as I saved that campaign, it worked. As soon as I hit save, if somebody types north, sends the word north, the keyword north, to the phone number 72727, they get back these two text messages. That is a keyword campaign. And now I could create collateral material and I could promote it to every one of my customers tomorrow. That's how fast it is. Now I'm going to show you one other example real quick. Instead of saying to these people, hey, uh, while you're here, click here and post a selfie with your gelato, I might say to them, um, instead, want to see our or want to take our menu home with you and you can view where we will be each month click here and now you give them a link right to your mobile website app that you modified so here's the URL that I saved that links right to your mobile website and if I drop that in there now everybody clicks the link and goes right to your mobile website. So I can do either one of those options or whatever you think of. And if I hit save, that's what you would get. All right, let's go in now and talk about the next piece of it. Because what I've done here is I created a keyword that somebody could text into. And that's part of loyalty marketing. 
But now that we've created, we've built our mobile website so we could link it into our text message. We built our text message, now we can link that to our kiosk. That's the order you build it. So now let's say that we're going to do tablets because we're going to an event. And at that event, a lot of people are going to be walking by, getting in line and buying our stuff. And we want to get every one of those people to opt in. So we go in and we create an, a keyword specifically for that event so that we know every time we go to Chillicothe, which is this very small town, and we go to Chillicothe and people show up. And that's, we only do that once a year, but we go to that event once a year. We build a database just for that one event. We do that by this word right there. We type in the word Chillicothe, and that's the keyword, right? And now we know, because we put Chillicothe in the campaign name and whatever keyword, we know this is going to be our database for people in Chillicothe. I created this one for North. So I'm going to go over here to my next step is go over here to Tools and create a kiosk. Now I hit Create New. I type in the title of it. This is for North County uh, Rapici. And this is the one that I use when I'm in North County. What was my keyword? My keyword was North. And my short code was 72727. And I could put a Terms of Service URL if you wanted to. You don't need to. And I hit Save. That's step one. Next step is I could put a header text in here, which would drop text in here. But usually I just go right to the logo and upload a logo as my heading there. And I'm going to grab a Rapici. I apparently don't have one on my... I know I got one somewhere. So I upload my logo that I want at the top of my tablet. And then I put in whatever words I want to say. And there it is. Type in your mobile number below to receive an instant coupon for next visit. That's what it looks like. But I could go in here and change the offer color. I could make it yellow if I wanted to. That's kind of yellow green. Let's make it like yellow orange. I could make it, I could change the background color of everything. I could change the font size to make it bigger. So I made it bigger so people can really see it. I can make it bold if I want to or italicize it if I want to. That's it. So I did all that and that's what it looks like. I could change the submit button to submit and send coupon. And now the button says submit and send coupon. So now I hit save. And now I've created my tablet landing page. So now all I have to do is... When I go to North County, I take this URL, I set my tablet to this URL, and every single person that walks up and buys from me, I have them type the mobile number in the tablet, and instantly they get a text message with my coupon and a link to my Facebook page and a link to whatever, and that's it. And then I've done, um, I'm, I'm done, I'm ready to go. So one of the two things you're going to do, and this is the biggest and most important piece of everything that we're doing right now, to get started quickly, you need to build a point of sale campaign. And now I created, I just created one for when I'm in North County. But if I wanted to do one now for South County, then I go back and repeat all those steps. I go back into the uh, application and I go to marketing platform and I go in and build a redeemable coupon. Now I'm gonna turn this over to Emily because I've gotta jump off to another call. But what she's gonna do now is take you in and build a, this time, South County campaign because this is when what you're gonna use for South County. But she's gonna do it as a redeemable coupon. From there, we know we're building databases every single day. In fact, six of you already texted in north to 72727 and I see that right here. So after we create a redeemable campaign, a keyword coupon for South County, you can see you'll have two different databases. Then at that point, Emily can show you how to go in and send a message out to one of those databases, which I didn't actually get that in here. We did creating uh, a kiosk. We need to blast a coupon out or a notice about where we will be this weekend and then decide which database am I sending it to, blah, 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 right? So she's going to create a, uh, a keyword coupon. 
go to Redeemables keyword coupon, which is another type of loyalty marketing campaign. Then she's going to go in and create a blast and show you guys how to send a message out to whichever group. And then she's going to go in and talk about just two more items, which won't take very long at all. But she'll be talking about how do you, what if, what if you're doing um, uh, some kind of print campaign with somebody? Or what if you want to put an ad on the back of your truck to give some information to people, right? Something big that says text or peaches to 72727. Um, and then we've kind of covered other databases, but she'll review that one more time with you. And so I'm going to introduce you guys to Emily. And Emily, you're being recorded, but everybody's being real quiet, so I think you're in good shape there. Um, Emily, you want to come take over? Yep. Thank you, guys. And if you have more questions, she can stay on. And you know the customer support people, so we'll, or you know the customer support line, so she can help you there too. So we'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Hey, guys, I'm Emily. Um, so we are going to go in and create a mobile coupon here. This is not my computer, so give me a second while I try to figure out where everything is. So many tabs open. Um, nope, it's okay. So we are going to go in here and create a keyword coupon, which would be kind of the same idea with where someone texts in to receive this coupon back on their phone. So you'll go into your marketing platform, redeemables, keyword coupon, and then hit create. And so um, we said that this one was going to be for South County, so we can just call it South County for peaches. And then we'll see if the keyword South is available. Okay, so that one's not available, so we could do like for peaches South. And you can choose whatever you want for your keyword just so long as you know you guys can identify it as what it needs to be and it's available, which I'll always tell you there. Um, so the important thing to remember here with the uh, redeemable coupons is that it's going to give you this placeholder for the URL, um, and that's going to be your actual link to the coupon page. Um, make sure you don't delete that out or edit that at all because that's where that link will be contained. So let's say Repeaches South. Um, click here for one dollar off next. Purchase, and then if you want to have like an expiration date, you can say you know expires 4:30:15. Watch for more. Up to however many a month you're gonna send out for messages. Reply help or help stop to end. And then if you, you know, have more information that you want to send as a second message, you can fill that in here. Um, you always want to make sure you leave like five-ish characters for that URL because the placeholder is not as long as the actual link itself. Um, if you want to make it to where people cannot reuse this coupon or text in multiple times to receive it, you'll just leave this checked. Um, and then if they do try to, you know, text for Peachy South a second time, they'll get this that says that they've already requested it. That way you're not, you know, giving out unlimited coupons to people. So here is on your coupon page is where you're going to edit what the actual coupon itself looks like. So we can choose an image for it. You know, so if you make something that says for Peachy is a dollar off and it's an image. And you'll upload that. Oh, and it can't be larger than 128. So we'll have to go back and redo this real quick. Click here for dollar off next purchase. Watch for more. Two for a month. And then you can also change um, your template here so that this is not black. You can choose from a couple of different colors, you know, to match whatever image you do. Maybe let's see if I can pick one that's smaller this time. Um, I don't 
know where any of his photos are. So now I have an image to use. There we go. All right, so now that I have an image there, we can actually put what the promotion is. So receive one dollar off with purchase and then you'll want to put you know when it expires so it expires 4 30 15. Um, if you wanted to put like a link or something in there you can um, you would just use that URL shortener right there uh, if you have a terms and conditions so valid with purchase expires 2015. So you just want to tell them, you know, whatever they have to do to receive that coupon. Um, then you can put, you know, your address. So if you've got a phone number, you can put your phone number there so that they can contact you. And then if you've got any other kind of contact information, you can put that. If you want to link to your desktop site or your mobile site, um, you'll just use this HTML right there. And then down here on the sharing, you can also enable to share for like Facebook or Twitter, and you would just click those. Um, I've seen some people run campaigns where it's like, you know, share on Facebook and receive an additional coupon or receive an additional uh, discount at the register, and then you just would have them show on the phone at the register when they have shared it. And here for your redemption, you've got a couple of different options. Um, you've got your single use and then your loyalty program. The loyalty program is going to build one that has like multiple that you can use. Most people just do the single use static code here. Um, if you want to integrate it into your point of sale system, um, you would just need to associate whatever code from your point of sale system right here with it. And then you'll save it. Now for this one, what we really should do since it expires on the 30th is we'll do a save and schedule. And then you can say, you know, that it's, it's starting now from creation and then it ends at midnight on the 30th and you'll launch it. And then now if you text Rapici South to 72727, you'll get that mobile coupon. Right. Yeah. So if it's going to be one that has it like an expiration, you can you can actually go into the reply message here, um, and then just change the date, and then just leave it live if you don't want to have it the, the actual campaign itself expire. That way you can keep it ongoing. But then the person who has it, you know, their message will say that it expires on the 30th. So if it's after the 30th, they won't be able to use it. So. We've got that, and then you could, you know, build a kiosk associated with this campaign as well for that to work. Um, and if you guys have already texted the Rapici South 272727, I can show you here with um, making a blast. And we could do it with the North one too, since people have already texted into that. So for a blast, you'll also go into your marketing platform here. And then we're going to go to campaigns and then to blast. And you'll create. And your campaign name can be Rafiji North Town Fair. And for your message, it'll be Rafiji's. We are located at booth 105 at the Town Fair. Come see us. Check out our menu beforehand. 
and then you would use this URL shortener to put it that in, which we've got over here. And then you would save it. Um, for this one, since it's a blast and you want to actually send it out, we're going to go to Save and Schedule. And you can either pre-schedule it to select when it's delivered or you can deliver it now. Um, for this instance, I'll just go ahead and deliver immediately because I want you to receive it right away. What we always recommend as the support team when you are sending a blast is to go ahead and test it to yourself just to make sure that you know everything looks okay, that the links are working properly. Um, and then once you get that and kind of approve it and make sure that it's working, then actually go out and send it. So I've just sent that to myself. I'm gonna check that link, make sure it's working. And it looks good. So I'm gonna send it to the North Group because that's where the town fair is that we're going. And if you go to this dry run here, it's gonna show you how many people it sends out to. So it's gonna send out to six people. And we'll select de deliver immediately. It's going to this group right here and we're going to launch it and then everyone who's texted in should receive this message and i just got it so you guys should also receive it and that's how blast works so you can you know advertise where you're going to be you can just kind of advertise to keep um, top of mind there's lots of different ways to use that feature now what we had talked about um We'll talk about the BLAST coupons, which work the same way as a keyword coupon, except for that you send it out as a BLAST. So for this one, you would create it, and this one can be North County Fair. And you can say, Peaches, come see us at booth 105 and receive $1 off purchase. Click here to redeem. Valid this weekend only. Reply help or help stop to end. And sometimes when you see, you know, that your characters are getting a little bit longer, you kind of have to get creative and shorten things down as best as you can. Now, always remember with these coupons, um, sometimes you have to kind of take out a little more than you would ideally like to just to make sure that the coupon URL itself has enough space. a dollar off with purchase at the fair this weekend. Terms and conditions valid only this weekend. And then you can put, you know, dates. Same thing, you'd put, you know, any of your contact information in. If you want to enable the sharing feature, and then if you want to integrate with your POS system, and you'll save it. This one is live now, and we want to send this out to everyone who might be at the North County Fair. So save and schedule, and it works just like a blast message. Um, again, I will always test this before I send it out to anyone else. Make sure that the link works okay for it. Looks good. So I'm going to send it to the North Group. And we'll launch it. And always make sure it'll tell you, you know, if you don't select that. So that's good. So now you guys should all get that one. And that's how the coupon blast works. 
So now we'll talk about you know, some of your collateral creator and other types of things. Um, you have this nifty feature in here called the collateral creator. Nope, you don't have that one. Um, so for your collateral creator, that one is gonna let you use like print material or um, like Rob mentioned, you know, on the back of the truck. And that one, you just have to say what your keyword is that you want people to text into to your short code. So if your keyword for that redeemable coupon um, is going to be Rapeachy South. Put on the back of your truck, text Rapeachy South 272727 for special offers, something along those lines. You want to advertise as much as you can what the keyword and the short code um, is for people to text into. And that'll be how you um, can build your database that way. So your other databases, you know, if you have some kind of existing database, you have the option in here to upload a group. So if you had previously done some kind of text marketing or if you have gathered um, phone numbers of clients or potential clients uh, compliantly, meaning that they know to expect to receive some kind of text message from you, you can um, format those in a CSV file. And if you guys have questions about doing that, feel free to email support and we can send you some information about that. Um, and you will go to static groups. And you can create a static group and we will call this repeat call because that will be easy. So sometimes you don't necessarily, if you create the group from in here, it's not gonna make you upload a group. Um, it's just gonna let you pick from individual numbers that have texted in. So if I wanted to pick, you know, only store owners, I could put these three numbers in and then add the group. And that will be the repeat call group. Your other option here is to go to static groups and hit upload CSV. And if you want the example formatting, it's right there and we can always provide you more instructions with this. And then you'll just find your CSV file on your computer. You would open it. Um, if you wanna add them to a, a static group that's already existing, you can put that name here or you can name it and it's gonna be Rapici numbers old. You'll wanna check this and then you would hit upload. So that is kind of all I have for you as far as that goes. Um, so I guess I will open this up now to questions from you guys. And uh, hey. Emily, I don't know where I don't know where to start. If uh, most of the folks are like me, you know, it's it's very difficult to follow instructions. Um, in this format, I, I'm wondering whether or not we can actually set up an initial coupon uh, that's live that everyone can use, and then as they have time to to understand how to do it themselves a little bit better, then they can delve into it and do so. But in order to try to get something out there right away, is there any way that we can you know, produce a, uh, a template that everyone can use initially? What I can do, because of the way that your account is set up with, you know, each individual store as a client underneath you, um, and I don't know who is speaking here. I don't know if this is Frank or whoever right. is, like, it's kind of Frank, the lead on yeah. the account. Um, but what we can do is we can create, you know, one of these keyword coupons in here um, in this main account, and then, you know, if you guys want to kind of model for these ones under here, or if you, you know, want to set up any kind of other calls or emails with me, I'm happy to help you guys get those set up um, in the individual account. Mm -hmm. Brandon, you're probably the most, and I'm, I'm not saying this with any further knowledge <laughs> of you, but you, are you comfortable with being able to set up some sort of template that, uh, you know, yeah. with within yeah, Emily's help initially, where you can kind of be our yeah. go-to person. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to put any kind of load on you, but uh, yeah. you'll probably have the ability to communicate with Emily in a way that it would save everyone a tremendous amount of time and effort until they were able to kind of. If if everybody's like me, these presentations give you a feel for what can be done, but they don't but necessarily, the yeah, teach you how to do it in a sense because it moves so fast. Yeah, I um, understand that. 
So yeah, I mean, I, know, can, I was going to build a website, so I'll, you know, I'll work on, you know, getting that template done, and then, um, you know, I can work with her if she wants to email me at, you know, just Brandon at italianice dot com. Um, but she can email me, and then we can just kind of come up with a a dollar off one, and then I was thinking we'll probably do one that's, uh, you know, uh, buy a regular at five dollars, get a, you know, get a a free kids cup or I don't know or I don't know what kind of you said it was Brandon at italianice.com yeah okay um so I'm actually not at my desk I'm at Rob's desk right now uh but as soon as I get back to mine I can email you and if you want to set up a time I've got um you know if you want to go right into it after this I can help you um for you know 30 to 45 minutes if necessary um otherwise we can set something up for tomorrow it's totally up to you and if you, you know, okay. want us to go ahead and go through and do that again on the call um, so that everyone can see it, we can certainly do that. Or if you'd rather, you know, just kind of do it one-on-one, it's up to you. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this. If you guys, I don't know how long it would take, but if, if it, let's say it'll take 15 minutes just to do one concept, one coupon, would everybody rather be a part of that and watch it through the process one more time uh, to where maybe it would... Uh, Give us a little better feel. And Brandon and, and Emily, would you both be? Would your schedule allow that? Yeah, I mean, I can I can stay and hang out for as long as you guys need me to, and and help you with that. Um, you know, if everyone wants to watch and be a part of that, or if or if Brandon, if you want to do that, you know, one on one, that's fine with me too. Okay. Yeah, I mean. I'm, I'm, uh, I guess what yeah, I'm I, thinking is if you, if Brandon kind of takes the lead and works with you, Emily, on this, and if we can just watch it to, mm-hmm. to see the process one more time, it might be helpful for everybody. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Um, so for for that, it's going to be in the main Repeaches account. Um, and I don't know if this one is, you know, for a specific location or if this is like the one that you would use for – just kind of general things. Um, do you want to build it for one of the specific locations, or do you want to build it here? Yeah. Well, mine's for Rapiji's Colorado. Uh, you want to do it in the Rapiji's Colorado account? Yeah, I mean I, that's fine. How how easy will it be to transfer that into, say, one of the other accounts? For instance? So that's. That's not really how it works with keywords. Um, you can't just transfer into another account for a keyword. Um, you would have to build a new one. Um, now, is there? Go ahead. Sorry, I was just gonna say, like, is there? I mean, like, could we just build the? You know, I, I mean, we I have a lot of the graphics and stuff, so I mean, I could put together, you know, little formatted, you know, pictures that say, you know. Like kind of like how you had the picture of the ice and stuff like that. We can kind of have something that, you know, obviously has the updated logos and updated uh, backgrounds and everything. We can kind of put those all in, and then they can put their own keywords. But I mean, they'll just put the graphics and just the text. I think would be nice to have, kind of pre-made, you know, which I don't know. I could put that into a document. Some that everybody could just copy and paste into their Avid program. Just kind of like a step-by-step, like. Right. Create a campaign, you know, create your own keyword and then copy and paste cool these pre made text into this and then it'll set this up for you. I mean that'd probably be the easiest way to do it. That yeah, that would probably be I mean, unless you're gonna go through and individually create um, you know, the campaign in each account. Um, yeah. which is certainly an option, or you could create a file like that, as you mentioned, and you know, send it out yeah. to everyone so that they can use that. Sure. If they could create a little package, I mean, it wouldn't be that hard. And Frank, I mean, just everybody could use that for the first one. We can just do a dollar off just to get everybody started. But, you know, we'll have the franchise picture of, like, the red, white, and blue, let's say, and uh, use that. And then, um, you know, I'll just, it wouldn't take me more than, you know, a day, I mean, <laughs> an hour. 
but right. you know, let me let me so think about all that. Because do if you wanted, we could set up a screen share to where you actually share your screen with me, um, since you'll have mm -hmm. all of you know the images and data, um, and then I can kind of walk you through the process of setting one up. And then at the same time, as as we're doing that, you know, I can kind of create a document of the steps and and stuff, and then send that yeah. to you that you can kind of alter and change as you need to to send out to everyone. Yeah. Do you think that and would I may be, be helpful? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I may be speaking for everybody and shouldn't be, but I'm. I don't know where to start right now, to be honest with you, okay. in uh, in setting this up. And part of it's because I was kind of not paying as close attention as I should have. But the other part is I just don't <laughs> grasp, you know, that that type of running through something, seeing what it will do, but not really going through in a in a uh, you know a more uh, time sensitive fashion of how mm -hmm. to do it. I guess you know for me to do it teaches me how to do it. For me to right. watch somebody else do it doesn't really do a whole lot for me. And I don't know if I'm yeah. if I'm speaking for everyone else or not. But. So then in that instance, you know Brandon and I creating a document that kind of outlines how to do it for you might be more helpful because then you can actually go through the process of doing it yourself. Um, and if you if you want to set up a call with me, I'm happy to do, you know, another screen share where with you yeah. personally, where we can kind of go through and create one one on one, um, so that you yeah. can actually get a feel for doing it and, and get your hands around it. Sure. Yeah, I mean, to me, it'll probably be pretty easy, and that kind of makes sense. And I just wanted to get mainly, I'd like to get the the mobile websites, like just again, just kind of following a general template, and then they can add on little extra pages. So you know, mm -hmm. each site would say for pieces of Italian ice and then it would have the franchise name so there'd be a little bit of you know difference that people know where they're at right so uh, that the only mobile website that rob showed you guys has actually been dropped into each of the individual location accounts um and yeah. it looks exactly the same but you'll be able to edit just the one uh mobile site in the individual account and have it stay that way for you know just for peaches colorado you can make it specific yeah. to that one um you could do the same yeah. for the I don't remember any of the other names, but for the other locations, yeah. you would be able to do that. I just wasn't sure if you'd be able to copy mine, because what I'd like to do is just create one that we have kind of like a different background. It looks really cool. And then, uh, you know, just kind of the layout. I'm just going to match it to our website just a little more. And then, you know, I just figured if we can copy my version over to everybody else's with the same kind of, again, like history menu, um, a few other little flourishes, I guess, and then that way it's uh, kind of matches our site, our main site, a little more. And then uh, the only other question I had was, um, I guess for the av for the mobile sites, is there a way to do like a vanity tag on the on the actual um, URLs? So, so like, to have a custom it, domain for it, there is. What you would need to do is, um, you know, if you already have a desktop site associated with um, mm -hmm. each of the locations, what you can do is you can, there's a, there's a redirect code that you can embed into your desktop site that will direct um, from your desktop site to the mobile site. And then with the mobile site, you will need to do a, what's called a DNS redirection where yeah. you create a C name record. Um, and there's instructions on the website how to do it. And again, we're always happy to help you kind of walk through that process. Sure. Uh, you will need to yeah. have, you know, a, a custom domain that you've already purchased. Um, yeah. And then, you know, if someone's going to go into Safari on their iPhone, they'll type in, you know, M. Rapicis Colorado. Um, or if okay. they go to the Rapicis desktop site and you've set up the embed code that way, then it will direct them to the mobile site. Sure. Well, the main thing is we own ItalianIce.com, and what I wanted to do is get the franchises set up so it would be um, Colorado.ItalianIce.com, you know. Mm -hmm. It could be, you know, so they would each have their own designation in front of ItalianIce.com. And it's, you know, simple for me to quickly set up, but I mean, that would just be the redirect for each franchise. So instead of a bunch of numbers and, and right. whatnot, their mobile site would just essentially be, um, I have to click on here, but I mean, you know, again, Colorado or Denver dot com. Right. And that's something yeah. I can, you know, that would take them straight to my site, which would be your site. <laughs> right, yes. But, I mean, I just want to keep it simple because, you know. Um, and then my other, only other question is, since it is URL and it's HTML-based, can we attach a Google Calendar 
is that is that something that we can insert into the page or no? For your mobile site? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, there is a calendar page type that you can okay. use. Um, as far as using, like, the Google Calendar, I mean, if you have a link to it, you can place a link or a button on the page that will go to it. Um, okay. But there is also this option for you know, the calendar type page and you can create a list of events, um, you know, for the different places that you'll be or, or whatnot. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll take a look at that and play around and see what I can do. Um, cause yeah, we'll have a, we have a difference between our festival and then again, the truck, the truck is going to be everywhere all the time. And then, you know, the festivals are just kind of, you know, obviously every weekend. So, right. But I'll play around with that. And Brandon, if you would keep in mind when you're doing the uh, images that we want to do all of them with trailers early on, okay? And then you okay. and I will do the the van ones, but the other folks that are involved right now are trailers, so we want to, you know, let people know where they're going to be, what festivals they're doing, and create, you know, their their brand within their markets. Uh, yeah, I will get with everybody to to find out what they want there. In other words, you said Denver dot italian ice dot com uh mm -hmm. would be you know birmingham dot italian ice dot com uh yep. maybe coosa valley italian ice dot com tuscaloosa italian ice dot com and exactly. so forth so i'll get you a list of those once i confirm with everybody that that name is okay with them or that's the name they want to use okay sure yeah that'd be great all right uh what, yeah what is, i'm sorry uh, go ahead this is Dan. Uh, would it be possible to have an individual screen share session with uh, with you? Yeah, of course. If you want to set that up, you just need to email me at support at avidmobile.com. Um, you know, let me know a couple different days and times that you're available, and, and we'll see what works with my schedule, and we can certainly set that up for you. Okay, great. And don't don't get me wrong, everybody. Emily is is the point person for this. I'm just kind of as a side uh, sideline here talking to Brandon about how to get everybody's tied in and kind of save you some of the work uh, early on because you know most of you probably know more than me, but uh, I need something to get me started here in Birmingham. Yeah. Well, I do too. And Brandon Brandon did uh, say he had access to a lot of the images, which I don't know where those images are, or if they're already created somewhere that we could access. Or, or well, and or, that's what I'm that's what I'm hoping that he'll be able to do is to set uh, set the images up for us, and then all you guys have to do is go in because there's some new images that Brandon doesn't even have yet. So I'll get with him on yeah. that, but. To, to kind of get the images set up, and then you guys can go in and set whatever promotion or, or you know, the verbiage that you want for your own areas. But yeah. the, the image template, I think, is, is going to be what, important for, for us. To yeah. set up. And, guys, it should be important to remember that, you know, you're not going to be able to just save that image in there um, unless Brandon wants to go through and go ahead and create the keyword, you know, without the reply message in it. Um, so that means that he would be creating all of the keywords and like campaign names and then just saving the image and then letting you guys kind of go in and fill out the rest. Um, probably the better option would be for him to, you know, create a folder of all the images and then either upload those to, I, I mean, I know you can do it like on Google um, or, you know, email them to yeah. you guys so that you guys all have access to them. Yeah, I was just thinking a folder with the images and then like a PDF that has all the verbiage. Because right. we would just then, you know, we would just have a highlighted like, you know, a dollar off campaign, buy one get one campaign, um, you know, percentage off campaign, just mm -hmm. you know, just various campaigns and the verbiage already written underneath. So all you'd have to do is just copy and paste it into the thing, and that would just allow you. So you don't have to even really think about it except for adding a URL. That would be perfect. Um, so. That'd be that'd be easier. That'd be, you know, my main thing is I just wanted to get that redirect kind of done, which won't take too long. But it's, you know, that way we can kind of tie it to the website and get people to go to the main site, as well as uh, 
your site individually. And then, you know, uh, for the templates, I, I was just thinking we definitely need, you know, um, like requests for catering calls and stuff because if you've got the trailer, you know, um, if people see that, they'll be like, oh, that'd be great for a birthday party, you know. So they can easily just, you know, put their name and number in there and hit go, and then you can follow up. Right, yeah. And, I mean, for your mobile site, if you're if you're ever wanting to direct it back to your desktop site, you can just place a button on there that will link back to that. Um, but typically okay. the idea is to get people, you know, on their mobile device to go from the desktop site to the mobile site. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I guess everything is as said as it can be on this call. So we'll uh, everybody just kind of, as they have questions, I guess, uh, text or uh, not text, but email Emily and uh, Brandon and I'll work uh, on the back side to get these images that you'll need. And uh, just don't don't feel reluctant to to contact Emily. Yeah, please contact me with to, any questions you have. Um, support is always here to help you guys with whatever you need. And and Brandon, I'll email you like I said as soon as I get back to my desk, and we can kind of figure sure. out the time to to set that up. So good. If you wanted to just do like an email with everybody on it and say, you know, questions or whatever, and then you know, just kind of say, hey, this this thread is for questions, and anybody that's on the call now can just re do a reply all and say, you know, how do I log in? <laughs> and we can just you know quickly address it if there's a problem or something. Just you know, just to kinda get your feet wet. Well I mean I'll have something by tomorrow. So you know I'll just put something together that we can quickly get started with. And uh that, that's a good point, everyone. Brandon. Yeah, it's a good point. Emily if if any time there's a question that you're answering, you have the uh email addresses that were initiated from this call. If you'll just reply to all that'll help us Right, so I'll email Raven and then I'll CC everyone else on it. Um, yeah. And that way, you know, you guys will have access to it. And it's going to be whatever emails are associated with the account. Um, yeah, okay. You know, so it'll be whatever is here on this user profile card. Okay, yeah, um, that's fine. For each individual account. That sounds good. All right. Very well, good, cool. Emily. Thank you so much for y'all's time. And I, I certainly didn't mean to uh, to say that your training wasn't appropriate. It, it's just that for <laughs> old guys like me that are uh, invalids when it comes to the Internet, I need a little... Hey, I totally understand. When it comes to me, it takes taste. me a good minute to, you know, kind of get my feet wet and do it myself before I really have it figured out. So I understand yeah. 100%. <laughs> okay, great. All right, everybody. Thanks for being on the call. Let's follow up and, and get this thing rolling then. All right, sounds good. All right, great. Right, thank you. All right, thanks, thanks. guys. Thank All you. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, see, I got all worked up for me because I didn't get it back. Didn't have everything charged up, and it worked out just fine. Oh, uh, not near as good as, oh, that's people, important people. Oh, about him making fun of me, and what's that? What is this 455-0234? What's that number? What the hell if you don't Well, look. Well, oh, it changed. So, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You might want to put him in it right as nice as you do it.